Blue Ice is a really cool little brand that's founded in Chamonix. So they know a lot about cragging and big mountains and what you need for glaciers and all these sort of things. Now, you might have seen out there, they're sort of really niche sort of ice axes and harnesses they make, but they also make some really good cragging gear as well. Today, I'm gonna to mainly concentrate on rucksacks. I've got a couple to show you here. So we've got the octopus, and we've got the squirrel. Now, quite different bags. The squirrel is very much designed for sort of alpine and multi-pitch and things like that. So I'll talk about that in a minute. But here at Crack Cliff, we're going cragging. So I brought the octopus. They clearly love a bit of animals, the blue eyes. So the octopus, we'll come back to that one. The octopus is really designed for sort of sport climbing and trips abroad because this is perfectly measured out so it fits in hand luggage. Now, please don't quote me on that because lots of different airlines have different sizes. So contact your airline and check out the dimensions before you turn up with hand luggage going, James told me it would fit. I didn't. So I hardly know where to start with the octopus. There's so many features for a bag that looks really simple. What I really like is the fact when you get to the crag, throw it on the floor like that and you can unzip it in this big sort of U-shaped zip. So it opens up a bit like a suitcase. That means managing your gear is really, really easy. And you, as you can see, you can get quite a lot and stuff in here, even if you don't organize it very well like me. So you get a tarp with it, which I've got my 60 meter rope in there full trad rack. You can get rock boots that fit nicely in this bungee here. There's sort of zip pockets everywhere, which I'm finding really useful. So inside here, you've got a little one, which is great for keeping things really secure. You might want to keep your keys in there or your painkillers if you're as old as me. Um, down the side here, we've got a really big pocket, which actually fit a huge water bottle in. Something I noticed the other day while using this bag that I was quite impressed with actually is my water bottle actually started leaking. Um, and when I came back to it, all the water had pulled up inside. So it was clearly quite a water resistant fabric and it hadn't got anything in here wet. But in there, there's a bit of pool, so I just poured it out and carried on. There's another monster pocket at the top here, which I can usually get at least a couple of brownies, maybe a massive sandwich, usually a beer as well, uh, or some crack gloves, depending on what you're doing for the day. The sort of shape of it makes it really easy to pack because, you know, you get to the crag, lay it out like that, you can see what you need. Instead of spreading your gear out everywhere when you're sort of trading, you know, your sort of cams over there and making a right mess. It's really nice having it all in one place. So what I've been a bit surprised with, which is, you know, I was dubious about, is it's actually really comfy to carry. Because of the way you pack it and with all sort of things here, you'd assume it's gonna push hard into your back, like these rock shoes dig in, but they don't, because it's quite a good level of foam and support all the way down here. So when I'm carrying it, it actually feels really comfortable. So some really cool features on this, are, thinking about when you're traveling. Basically, you can take the shoulder straps and hip belt and make them disappear. They slot away neatly in these little pouches here. So as you probably know, if you go on planes and things, if you've got shoulder straps showing everywhere, you often get told you've got to take it to oversized luggage. That'll make this a really clean suitcase style bag. Now I always take way too much gear to the crag. Everyone knows I take 260s and loads of gear and lots of shoes and I'm size 11, so you know. I do fill a bag of this size, but for most normal people, this will absolutely be fine. You can get a single rope in there and all your gear. Sport climbing is even better because you're only taking quick draws, a couple of pairs of shoes maybe, uh, maybe only one beer to a sport crag. The only thing I really would want is somewhere to stash the helmet. Now they have thought of that, there's these little hooks here and you can buy a helmet holder uh, from Blue Ice as well, which just means you can hook your helmet just here really neatly. So the octopus is a 45 litre. Now that means you can get quite a lot of trad gear in, but I've been using it quite a lot while just going bouldering because once it's empty, it does squash really flat. And because of the shape of it, I can just keep all my gear in there, you know, my rock shoes and everything and just brushes. And then it slides really neatly into a bouldering pad. Because if you've got a big bulbous rucksack with loads of hip belts and everything, it sort of takes up your whole pad with, for no need. Grab handles everywhere, make you feel like you've got a proper suitcase, top and bottom, on the sides. Yeah, really handy actually, I really like it. So this is the Blue Ice Squirrel. This is the 32 litre. They do actually do lots of different sizes of these down to like sort of 20 or smaller for multi-pitching as well. But this one is probably the one most people will go for because it's so versatile. Now while it's designed for sort of multi-pitching and sort of big mountain days, maybe a bit of alpine stuff, it's also got some of the really cool features that we've just seen on the octopus. So it makes it really, really versatile and good all-rounder. Again, there's so many pockets to show you, considering it's such a clean bag. You know, you've got bungee side pockets on the side here, which you can fit tiny little blue ice harnesses in, and your water bottles, things like that. But you've also got that really cool feature that I was telling you about. When you chuck it down on the floor, you can open up the back. Now, this is useful when you're cragging, of course, and get into your gear, but also it's really quite essential sometimes in the big mountains. If you're sort of on a steep slope and you want to get something that's in the bottom of the bag, you don't want to be pulling all your gear out. That can be quite dangerous. You drop a glove on an alpine route, you're going down. And so you can just stick it down the floor, hold onto it tight, get whatever you need from the bottom and up you go again. 
It's got quite a few more features sort of built for moving with it on your back. So you can actually put a water bladder in as normal. You can attach ropes over the top with these sort of access points. And with a lot of the blue eyes things, you can actually remove these as well. So if they're flapping a noise and you don't want the bits, you can just take them off and store them at home for another day. Even though I've got my helmet in there today, no problem. You do actually get the helmet bungee free with this one. So you can stick it on the front if you have overloaded it like I often will do. Again, lots of really nice big pockets. You can easily get guidebooks in here. You got your little key clip, of course. But something else I think they've really thought about with this is I think they're thinking people might go ski touring too. Now, it's not got brilliant sort of ski carry on the side, but if you are skiing with it, you've got, again, the helmet bungee and all the bits people like, but the essential sort of little pocket on the side here where people like to keep their, you know, lips held and things like that. So even though the squirrel doesn't come in different back lengths, you do get a lot more adjustability on this one than you will do with the octopus. Because of these tension straps, you can higher or lower the shoulder straps. So it's much more likely to fit a wide range of body shapes. So as an all-rounder, the squirrel is just absolutely brilliant. You get ice axes on it if you want, take it trad climbing, even use it as your bouldering, maybe sort of a bit of ski touring. But I also can imagine using this as sort of everyday bag. You might take it away for the weekend or your work bag as well, just because it's so versatile and easy to get at with all the little pockets and big openings and things like that. I just wish I could use it in the big mountain instead of bouldering at Crackcliffe. Right, can we go climbing now? <laughs> 